this is Roger J. Muller Jr. in the Caymans. I'm in the Eagle Ray restaurant Bar and Grill with the, the head chef. He's going to introduce himself in a minute. Um, he was nice enough to take a moment out of his busy day to tell us about how he prepares lionfish and how people find the lionfish and, and bring them in, or spear lionfish. So, here we go. Hi, my name is Shiva, coming from India. I've been working in Cayman Islands for like five years and in this restaurant. And most of the people used to go for lionfish hunting like every day and they used to get the lionfishes and they used to cut the spines from the boat itself. Once it comes to my place, I used to like fillet it up and I, I asked a suggestion for the guests like well, how they wanted to cook it up. Uh, either they wanted to grill or they wanted to deep fry or they want to pan here. So according to that I used to fillet it up and I seasoned up and I used to cook it for them. And lionfish pretty tastes good and it's so delicacy with soft meat and I like it very much. And people used to like it very much and and we are the largest selling of lionfish on this island. It is a really good one. And what's your favorite way to prepare lionfish? Sorry? What's your favorite way to prepare lionfish? I always prefer to Pansha. Okay. So that? the meat don't break it up, so the meat will be so the meat will be nice. If you uh, people, some people like to go for grill, but I don't suggest them to go for a grill. So a grill, the meat won't stay in the grill; it'll start breaking it up. So I always prefer to go for a pansha one. Uh, pansha with rice, some vegetables, and key lime sauce. That is the best. I I go. With that. And on the menu, do you have like lionfish tacos? So. Yes, in the menu we have the lionfish tacos, and the lionfish tacos is made out with the tortilla, comes with some lettuce, lionfish, some tartar, and sweet chili sauce with onion, mint tomato, and cabbage mm -hmm. uh, with fries and salad. Mm -hmm. And we have the largest selling of tacos here, we are the best selling of here. People like them more. Um, where do you get your lionfish from? Like okay. when there's no fish from the, from the uh, no, but I'm saying if the divers aren't bringing them in. Yeah, if uh, divers are getting imported uh, or the seller for that, um, okay. they used to sell it in uh, huge numbers because they used to always go for our hunting and they get it in large numbers. And we had that two restaurants, we had other restaurants in Taka, they used to bring it that. And it's already filleted and cleaned and it's processed one. Okay. Uh, as per the standard, they used to process and they get it up here. Once it comes here, we buy, uh, we unpack it and we used to cook it for them. Um, do you also, I suppose, a lot of comedians like, like the whole fish? Um, you cut it and just fry the whole fish? Yeah. The, uh, we cut the whole fishes and just like we flip it up, the skins, and we manage it with some blackened salt. And with the flour, we dip it and we deep fry it and we used to take it out. So once it comes like a nice crispy, whole fish. Um, how do you know, like, when someone brings a lionfish in, how to prepare it? You decide no, that day uh, when food you're in, you're going to put, make it. Did you ever make uh, curry because you're from India? Did you yes. ever make curried uh, no, it's, coconut? Yeah, lionfish? we used to make it, but it's all in different of the guests what they want. Okay. The guests used to give me the lionfish and I used to ask them how do you want to prepare it. So if they want so to fry it or... It's up to them. Whatever they are telling me, they used to do it. If they ask me to grill it, I will suggest them not to grill it. If it is a whole fish, you can Because if you it grill it, it's dry? No. If it is a fillet meat, you can't grill it because the meat will break it up and it falls down. Oh, okay. If it is a whole fish, you can grill it up. I will prefer whole fish can grill it up. But if it is a fillet, I don't prefer what grill it up. Okay. Because the meat never stays there. Once it cooks up, it's a soft meat, so it starts splitting it up. And it, it falls apart. And yeah, it's and falls apart and it falls down. So I don't prefer for that thing. Uh, I, better we can go for the pan shear, nicely blackened, and shear it in the pan. It sticks nicely and it's crispy too. Uh, how long have you been working in the Cayman? Uh, in the Cayman, I've been working for five years. Five years. And you didn't tell us your complete name. Uh, my name is Shiva Kumar Shanmugam. It's quite complicated to spell it. <laughs> wow, wow. Better <laughs> to be Shiva. Yeah, so you're the head chef in Eagle Race? Yes, I'm working as a head chef in the Eagle Race. And uh, it, this is part of Ocean Frontiers? It's not a part of the Ocean Frontiers, but the uh, owner is a different. He rented this place. I rent uh, His name is Chef Ron. He's an Australian who is owner of the Taka restaurant. Oh, that's a yeah. That's a pretty famous restaurant in the yeah. East. In the East End also. Two. Yes. Oh, it's really interesting. He's the same owner and the other one, same person who buy the other restaurant over there is in Taka Cantino. Soon it's going to be open. 
Cool. So you're the head chef here. Yes, sir. Um, do you need lime fish, or you don't like lime fish? Me? Yes. Yes, obviously I like lime fish. <laughs> I love lime fish. Uh, lime fish, snappers, all the fish I like. One is a pancher or something else I like it. Did you ever have lion fish in India? No, not at all. There's no lion fish there. never see that in a uh, lion fish there. And yeah, probably now they may so still in 2013, still I was in India, I don't see the lion fish. Once I come here, it's new to me. It's a yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most people don't know about lion yeah. fish. And yeah. when I come here, it's really new to me. Already. And to um, say that divers bring lion fish for you. And have you seen a difference of like a year ago versus now with lionfish? Sorry? Like a year ago, were they bringing in more lionfish a year ago versus now? Easier to find? Um, when I was working in Dhaka, every day I used to see the lionfish. They used to come in a big, big box as well. Uh, when I moved to here, I don't see much, but still, yeah, when I used to go and take Ruptaka and come back here because we are the same owners and we share the line fish here. Okay. So, but, so with Steph saying that um, all the reports I've gotten, I, I spent time on the uh, West End. I was with the um, sous chef and the head chef at the uh, Ritz. Um, we did a, a cooking show the other day. And they're saying that there's less line fish now because the people are doing such a good job. The divers are doing such a great job. The instructors, dive masters of removing the line fish from the ocean. They really, they really spend a lot of time looking for them, so there's not that many around. Where years ago, like when you started yeah, five years when ago, I started, there tons was tons and tons and tons. Very like easy people to find. People used to get more, more, more. Nowadays, I don't see. Now, even I don't see much. But yeah, at least I uh, one third is there coming. Did you ever hear about a diver? I heard he's in. He lives in the uh, East End. He's um, he just bought a boat. He's he's killed over ten thousand lionfish. And supposedly he sells to restaurants and he earned enough money to buy a really nice boat. Yeah. Uh, you haven't met him? No, I never yeah, met him. I, I, I think I've heard about it. I've heard about it, but I never Every, met him. This, this might be a, a, like and a fake early story. Once they used to, early once they used to have a competition, like a hunting the lionfish, which used to happen in the ball town. Like people used to go for hunt the lionfish. A oh, tournament. Fish. Yeah, they had a tournament. Yeah, the tournament one. I used to heard about that thing. Yeah. But this, this one there. guy is famous for killing over 10,000 lionfish. Supposedly he's got them documented. Um, he's earned enough money to buy a really fancy boat, yeah, and, uh, know, which is a pretty know, amazing story. So we'd like to, one day, hopefully, Steph's going to track him down and get a nice fish, a lionfish story for maybe it's Lionfish University for him. But um, I, I don't know anybody that knows the guy's name, which is interesting. And instructors on the boat, the same story is floating around, but no one knows who it is. Yeah, Who's the know. most famous lionfish chef uh, pair on the island? Of course. Yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, all, right. all right, so he's taking credit for being the top chef on the Cayman Islands. And Steph wants to ask you a couple questions. So this is Steph McDermott. She's a comedian, and she's going to come over. And she's got her Lionfish University flag now, and she's going to come over and interview the, uh, the chef from Eagle Race. Right, here comes Steph. So, Steph, she likes that flag. So, what's uh, what's a great question that you have for the chef? I just want to know, like, um, what size, like, line fish do you normally see? What's the average size? Uh, we used to always, always get the size about, like, seven, seven inch above. Okay. How, how big? Seven. Seven. Seven inches? Seven centimeter or... Yeah, yeah cuz that looks that looks awful big. It's I don't much know. Because I don't know the good position. Yeah. Size Supposedly the biggest lion fish ever killed was like 18 and a half inches. Yeah, something. Yeah, so something about the size. Yeah, but when I see itself I can guess like like how maybe much the meat will 10 be inches yeah, or it's almost like yeah. that. Yeah. If small fishes I don't like to get it up. I, I even I uh, tell the customers don't hunt the fish, let it grow bigger. And because if it's small fish, you don't. When you fill it up, you don't even get this much size of fillet. You know, too hard to prepare. Too hard to prepare and too hard to fill. I have up. a uh, friend in Aruba that sells um, line fish nuggets. So he'll take all the small fish fillets and throw it in batter, uh, and then make little pieces like uh, chicken nuggets. He makes lion fish okay. nuggets. Uh, <laughs> Norman Aaron. So that's kind of like. But the thing is, most of the people I know don't want to spend no, the time once filleting. Once the meat is like really grown up, that's just different, and that's really good in taste. Right, uh, that's why I always prefer like people to go more bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah. So the thing is, um, do you notice any difference in taste, step, step, or uh, head chef? Do you notice any difference in the taste between a, a small fish and a larger fish? Is there like yeah. a larger fish fishy or are they tough? Um, well, it's all the meat like the texture, no, does it change or they all seem to be no, about the same? The meat is like uh, 
large that tastes different, right? You can you have a nice bite and you have chewy stuff, right? When it's a small meat, it's so hard to cook it and it's hard to fill it up. So we really don't prefer like uh, for the small. So you want like uh, seven inches plus? Yeah. No, yeah. normally we used to get it in the bigger size. Right? Bigger then size. it's like you know valuable. It's really valuable to say so the guests also. So the bigger the fish, the more valuable the fish is. Yeah, ah. the fish and valuable the customer also. They like it very much. If you are so like small small pieces, it doesn't look good on the plating. When you do the plating, it doesn't look good. Um, nice fillet. You keep it like two fillet in the plating also. It looks it should look good. Oh, as a, a display. Yeah. Right? yeah. When you do the plating or preparation. Any preparation. So you said um, you want the. Tell the customers to make the fish grow bigger. But like when the process are in the environment, as they're eating. No, no, no. Sorry? Like you said, it's just to the people who are bringing fish to make them grow bigger instead of taking them in the small. I said, throw the small fish back. We don't want to throw them back because. You can't throw it up, right? That doesn't defeat the purpose of like giving them off the reef. Yeah, so better to like just kill them and. and uh, like throw them away because like, use you them for fertilizer. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like, obviously. Else? As I said, like you know, small fish are somebody used to do nuggets, right? Yeah. They'll be grabbing it. Okay. Yeah. But though, if I get it also, I do it. But okay. I don't like you know avoid it. But yeah, yeah. That's my advice. Okay. Yeah. In, I, I've I've done a lot of uh, line fish hunting in ten different countries, and in Aruba and places like that, what they'll do is they'll just like they they kill it and they leave it on the bottom, and then they figure that. I think in Caymans they have a law that you're not allowed to leave the fish on the bottom or feed eels or feed sharks. Yeah. But in other countries that I've dove in, they, the small ones, they won't, my friends will not take the small ones. They leave them in the ocean and then like sharks eat them or crabs eat them. Or, so they're, they're recycled that way. But Caymans is one of the only countries I know about that has a law that you can't leave them. So if you spear a small one, you're supposed to take it with you. Put it in your back pocket. Oh, no, no you can't do that because they're, 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 they'll spike it. But... Um, Take them and uh, you know, turn into fertilizer or something. I don't know, like uh, make the uh, palm trees grow better, or whatever. But which is it, which is a little bit tough in certain areas. But in when I was diving uh, with the Ocean Frontiers, um, the uh, Captain Andy and Jack were telling me that um, they're worried about if they feed the sharks that they get aggressive and then they're going to interfere. You know, maybe bite someone. Not because they want to, but because they have a lionfish on a spear or whatever. So they don't want to have sharks associate lionfish and lionfish yeah. hunting with divers and get people hurt. So, but um, so if you could make a lionfish right now, and you had any ingredients in the world, what? How would you make it? Make it. Yeah, like like what? What the best would thing you is use? if you can put some vinegar and you can eat as a sandwich. Lime fish, vinegar. vinegar. So you don't use uh, lime, lime juice. You said nothing in the world. Like whatever I can really? grab, it we can do. It. So the vinegar will cook the fish. Yeah, obviously. Really? How long does it take to cook? If it's lime, it takes like at least half an hour, one hour. Wow, wow. this is neat. Vinegar, twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Twenty minutes. So vinegar. And how's the taste? So then you'll put other stuff yeah. on it. No, uh, like when you do it as a preparation, we do go with a. Uh, you go with the lime juice, come to some avocado, everything together. Mm -hmm. When you say like you don't get nothing in the world <laughs> and you have only the lime fish, so easiest way is to like put some vinegar and cook it up, just like that. But when you go by the authentic way, we used to like chop the onion, peppers, uh, dice of lime fishers, some guacamole, uh, sesame guacamole. oil, wow. yeah, sesame oil, and mix together with some cilantro. That is the perfect one. Oh, I have another crazy question for you. If we were right now in India and you had your family, I had 10 giant lionfish that were going to help serve your whole family. But that, that could, maybe your family's bigger. There, there won't yeah. be enough fish. But uh, how many people are in your family? Um, including me, it's almost like 11 people. 11, okay. So I have 20 giant lionfish and we're in India. How would you prepare the lionfish in, in India? You're not going to use mango or anything no, like no, that. No, no, no. Like, My Indian style of marination is totally different, right? Yeah. As you heard about it, I mean, we used to put like chili powder, salt, lime juice, tamarind, and it's, it's gonna be like spicy. When you share it in the pan, you hear the noise like, right? Right? It's gonna be cooked in a dark way, well done. Well done. Well done. Probably like well done and crispy. Okay. Then eat it up. So what what would you prepare with the lionfish? What do you put around it in India? So 
sorry. Would you use like rice as a side dish? Yeah, or? it's like a side dish only. We used to cook, uh, cook it and we eat with some rice, curry. Okay. Uh, so curry rice? No, no. When you share the fish, is different. Okay. Apart from that, we make some curry. Okay. Separate. Because, uh, normally people think about this curry in the sense like only curry chicken or curry. Yeah. Curry is nothing but the name called gravy. It's like a thin oh, liquid. It's called curry. Oh, I thought it was a yeah, spice. In my language, it's called curry. It's a thin liquid gravy. Oh, oh, right? That's why we call it as curry curry. So, so pretty much everything has curry. Yeah. Always. When you call the name as curry, it means it's called thin gravy. Okay. That's why we call it as curry, oh, right? Oh, I see that. I actually have uh, a, a um, lot of Indian friends and they won't eat fish. They're like right. the only, uh, the only vegetarians. So the thing is, some people won't eat fish in India at all, right? Vegetarians? Yeah. No, no. I'm saying that a lot of my Indian friends are like only eat uh, vegetable-based foods, or whatever. That they wouldn't eat you meat. They, they won't they, eat fish. Yeah. You mean asking they don't eat vegetables at all? Yeah. It not at all, but they eat vegetables. Even me, uh, I eat less vegetables. I eat more of meats, oh, okay. like fish, yeah. chicken, yeah, yeah, goat. Go! Wow! Wow! Uh, when I come to Kemana, I practice myself. <laughs> wow! And when I was in India, I don't eat much beef. I used to eat beef like ten percent. When I come here, I try to practice to eat beef because I get no number of beef, right? So I practice to eat more beef and pork and especially fish. Whenever you have so fish time. is good here. Yeah, because it's nature. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. The fish. What's your favorite fish? Me, always like uh, fishing, I used to get the snapper. Okay, but if you you had a choice tonight, the the, the head chef from Eagle Ray Bar and Grill that is right on the dock by the Frontier Divers, yeah. what would you, what if you could have any fish in the Caymans and you could eat tonight a dinner with us, what fish would you ask for? Or what fish would you you'd want? What's your go-to fish? What fish would I like? It? Yeah. Uh, Hopefully you say lionfish. Like right? No, I don't say lionfish, but any fish. I go with any fish. Like wahoo. Except the tarpon. Yeah, tarpon is so good. It's too bony, but yeah. I don't like tarpon. I don't like shark. Oh. You guys eat tarpon? No, tarpon, tarpon. You know, tarpon yeah, tarpon I never heard of that. Tarpon are fully bony fish. Yeah, yeah. And we don't prefer tarpon. Okay, yeah, I've never heard anybody no eat tarpon. Shark. Yeah. Yeah. Tarpon, I can eat everything. Yeah. No eel, especially. <laughs> no eels? No eels. No. <laughs> if I get like the palm fried jackfish, I love jackfish. Jack's good, yeah. I love jack, but wow. nice and how do you prepare jack? Jack. Grill it. Grill it. Split it up, marinate it, leave it over uh, one or two uh, hours and then put it back with nice taste. And Steph, if you were eating here and you could have any fish you want cooked by the famous chef, what would you have? Okay, I'm gonna have some light fish. <laughs> I don't like to try like the light fish curry. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, thank you. Jeff. Have a good time to spend. Appreciate it, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Steph, for helping with uh, my interview. Definitely. Appreciate it, and let's see if I can get in here with everybody. All right. So we're in the Caymans, and uh, it's a really cloudy day here, and uh, it, there's no sun, and we're, we're like miserable. Oh no, no, we're having fun. Yeah. I'm just going to take a little picture of the, oh, look at that view. This yeah. chef has the best view in the world. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, like right. Oh, oh my God, too. everybody. Actually, we're going to take a little uh, yeah. walk around the restaurant here. And so, that's uh, that's your, the kitchen. And we have a nice seating area. And what a nice view. Come and order over here. How are you? Good. I can't believe it's so early. Yeah. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Um, really pretty restaurant.